Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all my current light setup on my 4Runner, both exterior and interior. Everything from blinker bulbs to my light bar and everything on the interior I will show in this video for you guys. Down in the description is where you can find all the install videos, my product reviews, everything like that for these bulbs. I pretty much made a video on every single one of them along with the product code for these specific lights with their own videos and discount codes if I have any on these, which I know I do for the LED light bar and the last fit bulbs that I have in my headlights. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So starting with the fog lights, I don't have any, where are they? So we're gonna be installing these Bosa lights. I did have the C light light bulbs in here because they were very cheap LED bulbs. H11 does fit inside your fog light guys. So I did have C lights in here, very easy plug and play, but I'm gonna be installing these. And the reason for that is because they are four bulbs in one. So you get a 6500K white light, you get a warm, nice yellow 4300K, you could go even darker to 3000K, and then it also has a warning flashlight. I've had these for a while, uh, I just have not installed them yet into the 4Runner, but I'm very, very excited for these because when you have a lot of nice, bright white light, that's perfect for, you know, road hazard signs, reflection, everything like that on the actual road. However, when it's actually foggy out or dusty out and you have that bright white light, absolutely horrible. So having something that will be able to turn yellow will be awesome. Coming up here, we got my blinker bulb. This is a last fit switchback bulb resistor free because everything is built into this little guy so when your lights are on it's nice bright white light nice and crisp matches your low beam lights and then when you turn your blinker on it'll go white to amber white to amber without hyper blinking really really good plug and play and that's the last fit led turn signal right there coming over to our low beams is another last fit product we have the last fit la series in this forerunner this is their h11 bulb I had the Oxbeam T1s in it, but I just found this was a little, little better. So if you guys have the T1s right now from a previous video I did, don't worry about upgrading. But this one, I just felt kind of filled in a little more dead spots over in this area. Uh, it just performed a little bit better in my opinion. So I just left them in the vehicle. All right, now speaking of Oxbeam, we have our high beams from Oxbeam right here. This is a 9005 bulb size. It's the F16 series. I've had this one for almost two years now, guys. Works absolutely insane, super, super bright, and I could not be happier with that one. So that is, you can order it on Amazon, so I'll link that one down in the description for you all. Last thing we got up front, can you see it? Can you see it? It's pretty dark, so we got DRZ, off-road a 27 inch light bar up there and we should be putting another one down here soon I did have a very bright uh, light bar from Oxbeam again just because it's nice and cheap yet effective uh, however once I went dark up here with kind of that midnight look uh, I wanted that to be down here as well so I took that one out uh, they sent out a 37 inch but that just does not fit these ragu brackets so we're gonna be putting another 27 inch uh, down here in the grill and it's gonna look really really good coming now onto the inside full LED treatment as well with the Yorkum LED bulb so all your small ones are gonna be a 194 bulb size I did a whole interior LED video for you all, especially showing you guys the little trick on how to do your dome lights. Uh, these are not, I'll say it right now, these Yorkums are not the absolute brightest. However, they are so cheap and effective. I've had these ones in for two-ish years now and no fail. They are freaking bright, they are awesome. And it's, you know, very cheap. I think it was maybe 40 bucks to do the whole inside of the forerunner and you have extra bulbs left over and you just get a nice modern updated LED look. And then coming around to the back, as you can see, our hazards are down here. So I did the Telus turn mod by Dio Dynamics and which replaces your blinker bulb that is up here to now down here. So since this is a nice LED light, uh, when you put your brakes on, it still lights up that way. And then also when you uh, put on your blinker, that light will flash. So now since you have this freed up space right here where the blinker used to be, you can put a nice big bright LED bulb that will turn on 
when you put your vehicle in reverse. So instead of just having an LED bulb right here, which that one is an Oxylam bulb, I believe, I think that is what that is. Uh, so instead of just having the 921 size bulb right here, you have a 7,440, 7, I believe, is the size of this right here. So that is a, another last fit bulb. So both of these come on, this one, and this one when you put the car in reverse. Very, very bright. Then coming down here, I also have some last fit bulbs for the license plate light to have a nice you know, LED on this and it looks really, really crisp at nighttime. So I hope you guys liked that update video about what lights I have in my 4Runner. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, I'm always in the comments section replying back to you all if I can. So just leave the comments down there and I will get back with you. If you guys are new around here, please feel free to subscribe, like this video. If it helped you out, it helps me out and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.